designers. I've reviewed about 100 portfolios in the last two months, and these are some things that I'm seeing a lot of designers or creatives struggle with with their portfolio websites. So over the last couple months, I have done a lot of portfolio reviews with designers, illustrators, writers, and other creatives, which if you're interested in seeing, you can find on my website. Go to callthedesignguy.com and click on reviews. And all of those portfolio reviews are up on the website to rewatch and learn from. And as I've done these portfolio reviews, I've also kept track of what platforms or tools designers and creatives have used for their portfolio website. And it looks like this. Now it's no secret that a lot of designers and creatives choose something like Adobe Portfolio because they already have a subscription for the Adobe CC. But I find that Adobe Portfolio is pretty limited when trying to build a really awesome portfolio website. So instead, I'd like to recommend you use something like Behance instead. Behance is also a free service that you can use for your portfolio website, and it's also owned by Adobe. But the thing I like so much more about Behance is that it has a very large community. And this community is not only just designers and creatives, but also people looking to hire designers and creatives. In addition to having such a large community, Behance also gives you a lot more tools to use when you want to present projects or case studies from your design work. And I think this is where Adobe Portfolio starts to hit a ceiling a bit because it limits you on where you can include things like copy, how you can include or present images, and I think Behance, some, for some reason, has figured that out. Let me know in the comments if you use Adobe Portfolio or Behance as your portfolio website, and what do you like or dislike about them? And if you want more tips on design, make sure you like this video and follow me. Have a great day.